Parry, one of the physios here at Regen Physio, and in this video today, I'm going to talk you through your stage one post-op total knee replacement exercises. So the first pair of exercises we're going to be doing are ankle pumps and deep breathing exercises. All these exercises we're going to do for about a minute today, but if you can manage to do them any longer, then by all means, push yourself and do them a little bit longer. For the deep breathing exercises, what I want you to do is take a big deep breath in through your nose, Hold for two, three seconds, fill those lungs with oxygen and take a big breath out like this. The aim here is to fill up our lungs with oxygen and get our respiratory system working after we've had our uh, surgery. So again, we're looking to do that for a minute. If you can manage any longer, then by all means, push yourself into a little bit longer. The exercise we're going to pair with this is what we call ankle pumps and what that entails is moving our feet up and down away from us making sure we're feeling a good stretch and a good squeeze and the aim here is to get good circulation to our lower leg and to our uh, ankles and make sure nothing nasty develops on our calf so again just like this we're going to go for about a minute but if you feel you can manage more of these then these shouldn't tax you and they're a good exercise to keep your circulation and get your ankles and lower leg moving That's it, keep following along with me. That's it, nice big squeeze at the top. You feel like you're working the calves nice and hard. That's it. And five seconds left. Lovely, and now we're gonna move on to the next pair of exercises. What we've got are the static quad and the static glutes. <clears throat> so what we do with the static quad is we're aiming to tighten the muscle on top of our thigh. So we're gonna pull our toes up towards us and squeeze our kneecap into the bed, aiming for a five second hold. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, we're looking to be doing this for at least a minute, but by all means, if you feel you can do more, push yourself to do more. So toes up, squeeze knee into the bed. Two, three, four, five, and relax. This exercise is going to be directly targeting your quad muscle, which is a very important muscle around your knee to get you walking after your surgery. And again, toes up, knee into the bed, squeeze, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, pull those toes up and knee into the bed. Start feeling the squeeze and the burn now. Again, we don't want this exercise to cause you any long lasting pain. You want to feel it at the time and then it should ease off after you finish the exercise. Moving on to the next one, the static glute squeeze. It's the aim here. You can pop your hands on the bum if you think that will help. It's to tighten our bottom cheeks. Hold, two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, imagine you've got a 50 pound note in between your bum and you don't want anyone to take it. So a big squeeze, two, three, four, five, and relax. Two, three, four, five, and relax. By being able to do a good static quad and a good static glute, it should help us get back on our feet and walking made a lot easier. So these are very important exercises to be doing immediately post-surgery. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, two, three, four, five, and relax. Last couple now. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And the last one. Two, three, four, five, and relax. The last couple of exercises we've got are our knee flexion exercises on the bed and then our heel prop. Starting with the heel prop, what you'll need is someone to pop a heel, um, a towel under your heel. And the aim here is to just let gravity do its job and pull your knee straight. By all means, you can use a blanket or a sheet to pull around your toes and stretch on your calf. Feel a bit of a pull down the back to stretch the muscle, but the aim here is to try and get a nice straight knee. And again, we're just gonna leave the heel prop in for about a minute, and if you can build up to two, three minutes of time, that's perfect as well. Because as well as getting a good knee bend, we need to make sure we can get a nice, strong, straight knee to help us when we're walking and going up and down stairs and things like that. So again, it's a nice, simple exercise, just letting your knee relax and let gravity do the job. 
That's it, keep going. Again, we're looking for about a minute with this exercise. Nice and easy. Any discomfort, if you can't quite get to the minute to start with, that's fine also. But we're looking to build that up and get nice and, uh, nice and strong at this exercise. If you feel comfortable doing that, you might want to add in a static quad as well. And that is just going to help, again, tightening those muscles and getting that knee used to straightening out a bit more. And the final pair of this exercise is the knee bending. So this one, again, might be quite difficult after the surgery, so feel free to use your hands to use a sheet to help pull it up. And what we're looking to do is just bend our knee as far as we can. Again, you may only be able to get a shorter range of motion to start with, but it's important we get this one um, working nice and early on because the further we can bend it, the more things we can do. For example, getting on and off the bed, getting on and off the toilet and up and out of a chair as well. That's it. As that gets easier, you may want to use your hands less and try and work that hamstring muscle on the back of your leg. But again, we're aiming for a minute, but if you feel you can do more, try and push yourself to do more. We'll be looking to do these exercises about three times throughout the day. And um, by all means, if you feel you can manage more, then that's fine. Making sure our exercises are our priority and then our walking afterwards comes secondary to that. Once we get our exercises nailed and our knees happy, our walking will be a lot better. Ha, ha, ha.